The American Broadcasting Company presents Paul Whiteman, his orchestra and chorus, starring Eugenie Baird with music that is forever top. Some songs fade without a memory, but others live on to play on our heartstrings forever, the tunes that never die. These are the songs which our Dean of Modern American Music plays now. The music that is forever top. And now, here is the man who was conducting three o'clock in the morning before many of us could even tell time. Director of Music for the American Broadcasting Company and Master of Ceremonies of the Philco Hall of Fame, forever tops himself, forever pops, Paul Whiteman. Thanks, Pierre Andre, and top of the evening to you all, friends, and welcome to Forever Tops. You know, if there's one thing I've been proud of in my life, it is the fact that, right or wrong, people have given me the credit for finding and sometimes helping lots of newcomers. While this beautiful young lady I want you to meet now certainly can't be called a newcomer, I am proud of the fact that I was one of the first to know how really good she is. Eugenie Baird, come on out of here, will you? Hello, Pop. Golly, what a build-up. Well, after a year with Bing Crosby, the old groaner himself, why, well, I will get you ten that you don't need a build-up. Anyway, I am mighty pleased and proud to have you here tonight. Thanks, Paul. Well, Jeannie, first on the list of tonight's toppers comes from the year 1924. A lot of people weren't even around that long ago. How about you? Pops, around 1924, I wasn't even marking time. Well, just how old are you? I'll tell you my age if you tell me yours. What is this, a fact-finding committee? Well, let's get back to 1924. In that year, a plan was set up to get World War I reparations out of Germany. The fellow who arranged the thing was Charles Dawes, and the underslung pipe he used was as famous in 24 as Doug MacArthur's corn cob is today. And as for women's clothes... I know that, Pop. Cloche hats were all the rage, and women were featuring the dropped waistline. Dropped waistline? Mm-hmm. <laughs> dropped mine a little before that. I've been trying to pick it up ever since. But switching, switch, switching from fashion to music, 1924 gave us one song that's been lighting torches from then until now, until the day after tomorrow, too. The composer was a great guy named George Gershwin, and the song is one that's forever top. Yes, and the song every girl wants to sing. Okay, Jeannie, it's the man I love, and we're going to hit you with it ever, ever so lightly. <laughs>
waiting for the man Jeannie Barrett, and I don't blame you, kids. Stems my sentiments, too. You know, in the minds of all of us, there are certain songs identified with certain years in the past. For instance, take 1920. That year gave us such songs as Margie, The World is Waiting for the Sunrise, Whispering, and Love Nest. Well, each week, we're going to pick the song from a particular year that, in our opinion, has outshone all the other songs from that particular year. We were just talking about 1920, so let's make 1920 the year we are going to consider tonight. I've just mentioned some of the songs from that year. And which one of those songs, 1920 songs, do you think has really been forever tops? Well, stick around, chillin'. We're going to play it for you in just a little while. But coming up now is a collection of assorted songs that I'm sure all you music lovers have latched onto many times. If you haven't, old Pops has been back in the wrong night. Just between you and me and the talking machine, I'm a little proud of these tunes. They're all from around 1922 to 25. And while I didn't exactly pin the three-cornered pants on them, I did sort of start them on their way. Yep, they're really music that never dies. A medley of wonderful one. Pretty Grophy, Mickey Nealon, and I hitched up on that one. And Leon Jessel's Parade of the Wooden Soldiers. A little thing by Robledo called Three O'Clock in the Morning. Valencia by Jose Padella. And The Winder Upper by Robert Catcher, When Day is Done. And these are all nicely joined up by excerpts from the Rhapsody in Blue. Yes, sir, I played them all, and I'm glad.
shadows fall, I dream of you. When day is done, I think of all the joys we knew. That yearning. Now it's the time for the tip-off on 1920. The tip-off on which song from that year is forever tops. You remember 1920? That was the year the United States got its first passenger airline and went all the way from Los Angeles to San Diego. And the fellow who did it was a youngster named Cecil B. DeMille. There was a lot of sweet music flying high in 1920. Besides all those ones I mentioned, the tunes I mentioned in the first of the show. There was Japanese Sandman and also I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles. And Al Jolson made an overnight hit out of a new one called Avalon. But my choice for the top song of 1920 isn't any of those. No, sir, after digging around and checking to see which song is played the most, which one sold the most copies and the most phonograph records, and which one is still going strong, I came up with this one. It's a tune that was tops in 20, and as far as old Pops is concerned, it's going to be forever tops, because it's one of those tunes that never dies. The song is whispering... And we're going to add one more performance to its long list right now.
that's a wind up on our rundown for tonight, friends. If you want to catch up on your forever pops tunes, lift the last string on us next week. We'll bring you more of the tunes that never die, the music that's really forever tops, plus our featured guest, Ty Turner. So for the orchestra chorus, for our star, Eugenie Baird, this is yours forever, Pop Schweitman saying good night. Join us again next week for Paul Whiteman and more music that is forever tops. And be sure to listen to the Hall of Fame with Paul Whiteman over this network each Sunday. Forever Tops, directed by Dick Woolen, written by Sheldon Stark, came to you from Hollywood. You've laughed with Jimmy and Lucille Gleason on the screen. Now hear them in their new laugh-happy hit, Jimmy Gleason's Diner. It opens for your entertainment in just five minutes... And you've got a standing invitation to drop in every Monday at the same time. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company.